Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today we have got round four of the Zwift Racing League Season 2 2023. We're in December now, it's almost Christmas and uh, today's race, very interesting. We're at um, Suki's Playground which is um, a Curie Islands and this is a very very interesting course, kind of a figure eight loop and uh, yeah this is my first race back for the uh, B3 team for a, a little while. I know I raced in the B3 a couple of weeks ago, maybe three or four weeks ago now but in between that um, I've been on holiday and I raced a little bit of the um, Flam Rouge Racing Tour Britannia. Didn't manage to finish that one so I say this is the first one back um, and immediately we're kind of thrown into this little um, incline here which I knew would be the kind of make and break of the uh, the race and I'm just trying to find my pack you know I'm not going to win this race and that's not me being pessimistic I'm just not you know I'm not at the level um, of the, the the front runners I would say um, in this league at the moment and um, yeah I just wanted to find kind of a little place to um, well my find my group and as you can start to see I've kind of slowly drifted back and I'm I've kind of just losing the front here um, coming up the kind of second incline it was almost like a, a little second kick here and it was at this point here that I'm losing now the second group. And I really had a word with myself. I was like, come on, what are you doing? Get back on it. You can get to that group in front of you and just keep pushing. And you know what? I stood up on the bike and I managed to push my way back to this group. I was feeling all right at this stage. And I thought, you know what? You could probably make it to the front group. But once again, my mental state unfortunately let me down. And uh, I decided to take a little break and just stay with this pack here which I'm not sure if it was a, a good idea or not really, but you know, at the end of the day, I wanted to just compete in the, the sort of group with the similar ability and I thought this one was it, but I perhaps, on second thoughts, should have pushed and given it absolutely everything. And I know this might seem like a bit of deja vu, but you know, it was my first race back, so give me a break. Um, and that is the excuse for this week. But you know, we found ourselves a nice little group here um, and actually we've got uh, four teammates in this group, which is uh, excellent actually. And I always love, and I said this before, I love a little bit of inter-house rivalry. So at this point now, my main aim was to finish ahead of my teammates. Well, actually it wasn't. It was to finish ahead of everyone in this little mini group here, but also try and bring the, my teammates along. And if I'm not winning this group, I'd like to definitely see my teammates um, win it. So... The other thing is, so we're just coming up, I say, coming up to the top of this hill here, and um, I'm pretty spent. My heart rate's quite high, 165, which uh, I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign, really. Um, at least it means that I can get my heart rate high, which I suppose, you know, is a good thing. So, yeah, we just found ourselves a little group here, get a little bit of rest on this downhill bit, and uh, prepare myself for the kind of second time up this little incline here. And uh, you can see by the graph at the bottom that I'm putting a little bit of effort in. I'm trying to stay near the front of the group here. And heart rate, you know, 163, 164. Once again, quite near the front. Um, I don't think I'll have any issues staying with this group. But, I'm, you know, I am near the front here. But everyone is still with this group. And as we come to the top here, I am going to try and save a little bit of energy. Because that did really knack me out that bit. I was actually really surprised at how knackered it made me feel and it's at this stage here where I'm kind of considering my options on the next lap you know I'm really knackered here and I'm thinking well if it comes to down to a sprint this time next lap I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to make a, a massive impact and actually you know do any good um, in this race so my aim now I'm thinking okay let's try and save as much energy or let's see how much energy I can save um, you know next time round and here we are and I'm just sat at the very back here doing my best to actually use um, as little energy as possible. And it was weird because I kind of felt OK here. Um, I was right at the very back. I wasn't I wasn't scared that um, anyone would go off the front. And yeah, it actually made me feel much better because as we get to this kind of middle section of this incline, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good, actually. Um, and as I say, like my heart rate's at 163. Yes, but... I'm not feeling bad at all. So now I'm thinking, right, so the next time around, if I can save as much energy like I did this time on this sort of incline bit, maybe I can do something. Maybe I can finish, you know, front of this group. But I still wasn't really sure. Um, but I've kind of settled in now. 
and it's difficult to know after not cycling for a week, which was pretty much what it was, it's difficult to know how your body's going to react. Um, I'm pretty good when I am consistent with my cycling and um, yeah. So let's see what happens then. Uh, we're just coming up now. This is the final time round, 1.3 um, miles to go. I've got myself a little feather, feather, feather power up and I'm going to try and channel my inner Ed Laverack here. Um, because I've obviously practiced this on the last lap or the last time round, sorry, on this lap. Now I'm thinking, right, I can really use my feather and try and try my best to get a little bit of a gap and really go for it. Because, you know, 1.1 miles to go, that's not very far at all. Um, and I'm not sure how the rest of the guys are feeling in this group. So as you can see, I'm kind of getting ready here on the uh, the old power up button. And just as we come to like, you know, quite a well, 3, 3%, 2%, I'm going to pop it here, get myself a little springboard and just really pump out as many watts as I possibly can. Try and take them by surprise. So you can see by my face, I'm not actually, I don't look like I'm struggling a lot really, which watching this back is really, really weird because I know I felt pretty bad, but I look quite relaxed at this point. And um, as we get to the, the top here, you know, the seven, nine percent gradient, I've already got, you know, a, a little bit of a, a little bit of a gap, you know, that's grown here, which, you know, four seconds, five seconds, six seconds. No one seems to be chasing me. I mean, my teammates aren't going to be chasing me, which is good. Um, but yeah, seven seconds. And I'm just now, right, I've got 0.8 of a mile. I know a lot of that is decline on the downhill. So, you know, I've got a really good chance here of finishing in 30th position. And I, I'll be honest with you, that would be like a little win for me, um, especially with the move that I just put in there. And it doesn't look like anyone's chasing still. Um, we've got a nine second gap now. We've actually catching someone ahead who's now four seconds and uh, we've not really got too far to go at all. So I am, I'm just a bit confused at the moment because I kind of think there's still an opportunity for me to, uh, to get clawed back. So I just need to do my very, very best. And my heart rate now is, you know, up, up near, up near its kind of top that I'd expect 179. And I'm still doing, you know, um, a pretty high wattage, but you know, in the back of my head, I know there isn't long to go in this race. So uh, yeah, I just got to keep the old um, pedal to the metal. And uh, as we come down this kind of last little bit here, I'm not even really thinking about this uh, this chap in front here. I'm just, I'm just literally trying to look at the gap behind. And I've still got 10 seconds, 10 seconds with 0.2. Um, I think I'm pretty much there. And uh, yeah, guy ahead just puts in a little bit of a dig, which puts me puts me to pay there but as we come across the line here I actually did it and I was super pleased with that I'm super pleased with the result there considering um, I actually finished as the top C in the B category B3 category um, and we did okay as a team actually finished fifth so some really good performances um, there but I was I was super pleased with that um, I put up the Zwift power um, it was probably my best maybe one minute um, for that I've done for a little while, to be honest with you. So that was also um, pretty pleasing, even though I put on um, a kilogram from the last time I raced. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody, and I'll see you on the next one.